let's talk about walking. We all do it, but very few of us understand how it works. So for example, here I am not moving, and now I'm going to go forward. Well, in, other, in, in order to go from zero speed to some measurable speed, I must accelerate. In order to accelerate, there must be a net force in this direction. It's the only explanation. What is that force? Well, what do I feel? I feel myself pushing backwards. That's what I do. I push backwards, but somehow I can get propelled forward. Let's understand how this works. So here's the ground. Here's me. Oh, since it's me, let's put in some muscles here. There we go. And I'm going to push with a force that way. And that's the friction between my shoes and the floor. And then I push this way. We know from Newton's third law, for every force, there's a reaction force. So in other words, if I'm pushing on the ground, then the ground is pushing on me and in the negative direction. So the reaction force to me pushing the ground this way is the ground pushing on me that way. Now you might say, well, they're equal but opposite. They just cancel out. Be careful. Newton's third law. These forces act on different objects. So on object one, and this one is on object two. Therefore, if I draw my free body diagram, it looks like this. Well, of course, I've got my weight going down, or the force of gravity, same thing. The normal force of the ground pushing up. And I have the force of the earth pushing me forward. So clearly, I have a net force in this direction, and therefore, I have acceleration in that direction, the physics of walking.